Hey guys, it's Axiomatic Uncertainty here, and today we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial. Um, as you've probably seen, a lot of my quick tutorials, and that was air quotes there, but you couldn't see that obviously, uh, don't end up being very quick, right? Uh, you know, the car tutorial thing, I said that it was going to be quick, but it ran over and it ended up being like 20 minutes. So this time, again, I'm going to make it fast. Uh, and just so you know, we're not going to do. Uh, we're not going to just retire the car physics. I'm going to keep doing those, but you know, right now I figured it'd be fun to do like a little uh, side series that I'd start, uh, which is this drone physics series, as you can probably tell already. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add a rigid body to our drone. Now you're going to want to get a drone from anywhere. You could even just use some squares, you know, parented to a little rectangle or something, or a box, you know, and some other boxes on the sides or whatever you want to do. Um, Anyhow, I'm just going to do it this way. And so now I can add this, and if I lift up my drone a little bit, I should be able to just watch it fall, right? And it does. It falls, and it just lands right in the ground. And so that is perfect. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go into our drone. We're going to add a new uh, script, and it's going to be C-sharp script. And we're going to call this um, drone, drone controller, right? And our drone controller can just be opened here and we're going to open it up once visual studio gets started up uh we're going to get working on this okay so it's all open and it's all set up and so now what we can do is we can start defining stuff right and so i want to define four separate motors so we're going to have a game object we're going to call this our um you know front left actually yeah let's start with our front left um so we're going to call this our flm our front left motor public game object, uh, and this is going to be our FRM. We can actually just copy this and just paste it twice and make this our BLM uh, for a backlift motor. And then, you know, our um, back right motor. And now that we have all these motors, we can add our uh, first bit of scripting. So actually we need one more thing, which is gonna be our public. Uh, rigid body RB, right? And uh, what we can do now is we can start scripting. So we want at each of these locations uh, to add a force. So we're going to say FLM. Actually, yeah, uh, FLM, right? And uh, we can say, sorry, at RB dot add force, add force at position, right? And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to add a force to a specific location. Uh, but you know add a specific location to the rigid body right um, and so we realistically you know we're trying to make this as realistic a drone as possible um, we want to add our force to the location of the motor and so the position right is going to be flm.transform.position and our part here right which would be our actual force is going to be transform dot um, you know position or transform actually transform dot up and then we can just add in or multiply this by you know 2.5 um, because that'll sum to 10 then we'll be able to get some lift here with a mass of one and then we're gonna add um, another of these and actually we can just copy this one and we'll make this bit better in the future but right now we're just trying to get the base in and we're gonna make this our F R M and our BLM and our BRM and that's all set and so now if we just go in here what we should be able to do is just um, you know come in and assign some stuff so let's just assign our stuff in here and I'm assuming for this set of tutorials that you do have some knowledge going into it you know from the last one that we did which would be the car physics tutorial if you didn't do that uh, I will be making a Unity Basics tutorial soon, or tutorial series soon, so I hope you're willing to uh, watch that, and I hope you enjoy it if you do end up watching it. And uh, <clears throat> so our rigid body is just going to be the rigid body for the drone. And uh, one one last thing we need to do actually is we need to come around here, and this drone has a camera on it, and so you can see that's right here and again just make sure that you have a drone when you're setting up for this I got this off the UniS store I'll link that in the description it's not mine not advertising myself or anybody I know uh, I just thought <clears throat> that they were pretty good so rotor one right 
is this one. Rotor 2 is this. So that should be FL, FR, right? So that's perfect. Rotor 3 and rotor 4. So BL, BR. Okay, perfect. So now if I just quickly save and run, we should see the drone just take flight a little bit. And you can see it just flew away and it hit the ground. But we're going to fix that in the next tutorial. So, uh, you know, that was just a quick intro to, you know, getting you started with the drone, giving you an idea of what we're going to be doing in the series. But, you know, we're going to have all sorts of stuff. We're going to add gyroscopes or virtual gyroscopes, right, simulated uh, stabilization. We're going to add mass balancing so that this thing doesn't, you know, flop over without a gyroscope as quickly at least. Uh, you know, camera switching, camera following for a drone that is not for a car, you know, it's got to be more dynamic. And uh, yeah, we're going to add all sorts of cool stuff. I'm very excited for this tutorial and I hope that you are. So that's going to be it. Again, if you enjoyed this tutorial uh, or just, you know, any of my videos, please remember to like, subscribe and share and then comment if you have any future suggestions, uh, any questions, anything at all, you know, any concerns. Uh, tell me if something isn't working, if you need help debugging anything, and, uh, you know, I'll be f uh, happy to take a look at that or, you know, just respond to you, give you some uh, input on things. And so, uh, again, you know, feel free to suggest new video ideas, and, uh, you know, remember, subscribe, like, and share, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, goodbye.